on air, online, on the go. Fox Toledo News at 10 starts right now. Six people are locked in a house right now in Wood County. They are waiting for police to come in and tell them they have to get out. You see, they are squatting to fight foreclosure. Allison Brown is live with why they are doing this. Well, Keith Sadler has lived in his house for the last 20 years, but he's going to be evicted tomorrow. But some activists want to stop it. People, the people, not the banks. The Toledo Foreclosure Defense League is chanting, holding signs, even using technology to get their point across. They want to fight foreclosure here at this Stony Ridge house on Fremont Pike in Wood County, and they are using nonviolent civil disobedience to do it. They say it's their last resort. We've tried every single possible avenue that the system has sort of set up for us, and they've all failed. We've uh, tried government assistance. We've tried loan remodification. We've tried calling representatives. Um, we've done everything we can, and it's time to sort of step it up and sort of disrupt this process any way we can. That includes involving police officers who are expected to show up and kick out the squatters. They say they plan to talk to authorities while on lockdown. And while they are stressing nonviolence here, they want to get their message across that the government system is corrupt. This is a definitely a national problem that affects everyone, not just the poor, not just the working class, not just the middle class. Um, even million dollar mansions are getting foreclosed on, you know. Bail out the people, not the banks. Now these guys know what they are doing is illegal, but they are willing to take the risk. Wood County Sheriff says they will come out and get the people out of the house if there are court papers involved. Reporting live tonight, Allison Brown, Fox Toledo News.